What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what you're looking at right now is Aaron Rodgers, the replay Aaron Rodgers that everybody's going crazy about with Gunslinger and all kinds of Slinger with the Slinger. Now, let me explain to you guys what's going on. I'm going to break it down for you because we're getting a lot of questions here about, you know, G Myers, who's the best quarterback to use? Because I put out a video about who are the best cornerbacks to use. And a lot of you guys agree with me right now. Lattimore and Champ Bailey, Tier 7, are probably two of the best corners or, or the best in the game right now. And that includes everyone, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on. Um, as far as this goes right here, this was my weekend league silver uh, monthly reward packs. I don't think that that's necessary to even look at because more than likely, I, you know, the things that's going to come out of it is going to make me rage uncontrollably. So I'm just going to leave that alone, all right? Now, Let's go over right now. You can see that my QB slot right now is empty, and um, we got to find somebody else and, and see exactly what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down for you guys. And just like how I'm telling you, um, I've used all of these quarterbacks. I can't, I'm going to let you guys know which quarterbacks I haven't used so that you guys can know exactly what's going on. But if you guys want uh, gameplay with the quarterbacks, what I do is if I'm not streaming right here on YouTube, I'm always on Twitch. So you can actually see, you know, the usage of the quarterbacks, how they release is, um, if the gunslinger really works, all the stuff like that, you guys can actually see it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start at the higher tier quarterbacks because I've pretty much used most of them so we can start there uh, with the Brady because I've already showed you guys gameplays with Brady. This quarterback right here, he's a terrible quarterback. I don't know why he's this high of a price because he's awful, okay? Other than conductor, he's pretty much useless. And I've been getting questions about... Uh, what does Conductor do? What is it for? Stuff like that. Conductor was very, very simple. Um, what happens is back in the day, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Madden, but Madden's been around for so long. We used to be able to just hot route everybody, like change their position. If you came out, for instance, right, to the line and guys were doing slants, you could change them to, uh, you know, to, to streaks, whatever you wanted, bro. Um, you know, out routes. All, before you even got to the line, the quarterback is doing all that stuff. What happened is EA Sports... Um, they got uh, annoyed with it because out of everything that they could have been paying attention to, they got annoyed with the fact that you're able to just hot rod everybody. So instead of leaving that alone and focusing on gameplay, they made it so that everybody couldn't do that anymore. So now with the conductor trait, you can do two before you get to the line of scrimmage. So if you wanted to change a slant to a streak on one side, change a slant to a, 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 a out route or whatever on the other side, or maybe a drag, you can do that before you get to the line of scrimmage. That's probably the reason why Tom Brady is up to this, you know, the price that he's at. Uh, I actually rage sold him for less uh, yesterday. I could go back and check my recent, um, my recent sales uh, in a second, let you guys see exactly what I'm talking about. But when you look at this card, right, Tom Brady, he has a 95 throw power, but he can't really throw the ball. You know, the tear is an 88, regardless of what anybody's going to tell you, the actual, the meta is 88 for throw power because I swear, listen, Mariota runs around like an idiot and throws the ball. He, he throws the ball further. And you know what's funny? I'm at the point right now where I'm just going to go ahead and just start running around with Mariota because it doesn't really matter. That 87 throw power, even though it's one below the threshold, this guy throws the ball all the way. I, I, I can't even, sometimes I can't even believe how far he's actually throwing the ball. But I get a quarterback like Tom Brady and he doesn't throw the ball anywhere. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand what's going on with it. And I want to make sure you guys understand. The one thing I will tell you, though, the inside throws with the medium and the short, if you're trying to get the ball in medium areas, Tom Brady's your guy, okay? If, if you're trying to just, you know, bro, put the ball right on somebody, if, they, if they're right at the top of a post and you're trying to hit them right there, Tom Brady's your guy. If you're going play action, even though his play action shows a 98, People are not, look, the cars don't even, the computer will come in and sack you. So I don't really know what they've done to the whole play action situation. But if you do something like, you get a play action like a shot play, right? And the ball is hiked and you hold it, okay? Let's just say you hold it right there and then it's like a freeze for a second. Tom Brady does hold it a lot longer and it looks like the AI or, you know, if you're playing a human opponent, their their defenders don't react directly to it. Unless you, um, you pass commit. If you pass him, they, they should run right in. But all of that doesn't matter because Tom Brady still doesn't throw the ball where it's supposed to go. And it's really stupid, okay? So what I'm thinking about doing is going back to Dante Culpepper, making him a 99 throw power, and just seeing how that works out. Because honestly, I can live without the conductor 
if the guys can make the throw down the field. I just can't deal with it anymore that these guys are such idiots and I can't... It, bro, you're powerless. It takes them 95 hours to... Wind, you know, like they're winding up to throw the ball 10 yards. It doesn't make any sense. So if, you, if you're interested in getting Tom Brady and you have the coins for him, uh, I don't know, man. God bless you, bro. I would probably go with Nick Foles. I've never used Nick Foles, but for the people that I've played against that, that have used him, they've said to me, bro... He's pretty much Tom Brady, but just says Nick Foles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's pretty much Tom Brady. He's pretty much that same card we just looked at. He's a 99 quarterback, and, um, you know, he has the same 95 throw power. Or, you know, he's a chain mover, and he has the conductor. So, Nick Foles, as, as much as it sounds ridiculous, his MVP card is probably your safe bet at quarterback, even though I haven't used him yet. Again, I've played against him several times, and I don't really hear people complain about him as much. Tom Brady's a—he's just a trash can, man. He—he's in this game. It's unbelievably um, disgusting the way that he plays. And um, you know the number one thing is he really just can't throw the ball deep. All right. So look, after you see that, we're gonna go down to 96 to 97. All right. Now Carson Wentz, when this card first came out, he was unbelievable. This card was unbelievable, bro. But all of a sudden, he sucks. The last time I used him. He wasn't even, you know, I understand it's at 92 throw power, whatever like that. Bro, when this card first came out, I have some gameplays right here on this channel. This dude was unbelievable. And then the new cards came out, and now you can't even throw the ball. Like, he, he, it's really stupid what goes on with it. But if you are on a budget and you don't have the coins, I've used this card. I like this card when I used it. But like I said, when I reused him, I got him back, it wasn't the same. But he was able to make some throws and, you know, still do the basic things. But it just wasn't, he wasn't all the way back there. And I don't know what's going on, guys. I really just don't know what's happening. Because this is all new to me as far as uh, what they've been doing with the cards. Because I don't think, this wasn't really happening. I don't believe in 15 it was happening. I think the nerfing might have started in 16. I don't, I don't know. But usually the cards that you had, going back to 25 with Madden, bro, if you had a card that was good, that card was good all year. And it was good for the market. Because that card maintained the value. And that's something that I have an issue with with everybody saying, oh yeah, they want to remove this. Everything is affecting the trade block. People are doing farm accounts. Bro, if the value remains the same, overall, if you don't allow people, <clears throat> excuse me, to get the other cards, like from, you know, like the farm accounts where you give out the, uh, for instance, the Thanksgiving card with uh, Michael Irvin. That was a card that was auctionable after you got to a certain point. Those cards, okay, you can have them at a certain rate. It'll stay that way. But the good cards that you have to pull, that's what makes the standard of the market. They keep nerfing the cards and making everybody garbage, and it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. And that's, what's, that, that's what we're facing. Like, this guy, he's at 840 right now. I had to sell mine for like 700-something. Look, somebody has a 670 bid. This would never be happening in Madden 25. Ever. It, it, would, it would never happen in, you know, the, the way that Madden has changed over the years... Is completely and utterly ridiculous. If you had a Mike Vick card in 25, I don't care if the game was being... Like, when Madden 15 was coming out, Vick was still at the highest point. Because they, they didn't do anything to the card. Look at Warren Moon. He's a conductor, bro. He's a conductor. He has all these other things. And you could, his, his card is trash. The, the card, it's already down to 499 because everybody is realizing it doesn't really matter. And that that's what I want you guys to understand. When you guys are trying to go and ask me, oh, bro, should I get this? Should I get that? A lot of you guys play with cards that I hate. I play with cards that a lot of you guys say are garbage. It's the way it works. They play differently for us for whatever reason. Maybe that's the day that EA thought that, it, you know, they could just do whatever they wanted. I'm glad I got rid of this idiot. Look at him. He's at five whatever now. You know, whatever. I, I don't know what I just, the short I got for him. What is it, like 400 or something? I think I sold him for like five something. But obviously, EA takes tax from fake coins. It, 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 look, this, this whole thing is just ridiculous. But again, these are like the you know the mid tier quarterbacks. If you if you want um, to get somebody that's going to be able to do the you know do certain things, you know Warren Moon has conductor. That's great. Um, he has a ninety four uh, throw short ninety, and he has the different chems. So you could actually get him you know with toughness. You could get him with you know uh, the deep threat or whatever whatever that is. What is that? Go deep or whatever that is. And you can change up the way that that goes according to your chemistry. But at the end of the day. These are the quarterbacks that we have to choose from. You know, I've never in my life had to worry about, you know, oh, oh my goodness, you know, what, what, why is Vic doing this? Why? 
bro, back in the, Vic was unstoppable in these other Maddens. It's not until recently, I, yo, maybe they'll change up what they're doing. Maybe the guy that's doing it with the development, the guy that's walking around with an AE on his shirt instead of an EA, that idiot that's making the gameplay like that, maybe they will sit him down and fire him uncontrollably. But until that happens, we're going to have issues with the way that these cards play. And I'm just being honest with you guys. It doesn't make any sense. So if you could, look, Carson Wentz wouldn't even sell for 375. That car was a stud. You know what I'm saying? When, when, it, when it came out. All right? So looking at that, those are the price ranges for those cards. And then 94 to 95, this is where you can get lucky. All right? Because this Tom Brady card played very, very well for me. This Deshaun Watson is not worth that price. Uh, Steve Young, he's at 219 over here with uh, the Move the Chains chem. If you look at the stats on him, he's not really doing anything right now. So I wouldn't really go this route right now. Um, it, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't be good for you right now to go ahead and go backwards and get Steve Young if you're looking for something like that. But you can see his price is very, very cheap, okay? Now, Dante Culpepper, like I was telling you guys, I'm going to probably look for him and um, see what I can do with that. See what I can do with the Go Deep version. He's at 334. We actually make his throw power a 99, okay? Everything else is 85s. I don't really care about that. That's what, what I'm looking to do because I have no other option. Nobody throws the ball realistically where it's supposed to go, and it's very, very sad, okay? So these, I, I would start from like the 94 to 95 option and work your way up depending on your coin amount. But for the most part, all of the cards do the same thing. Phillip Rivers is pretty decent also. All the cards pretty much do the same thing. When you're at like an 85 mid, uh, 85 short, and you got like at least an uh, you know, 88 throw deep, they're going to all do the same things. Even the highest go deep is going to overthrow the ball. It's very ridiculous, okay? Everything like, so if you were able to afford a Tom Brady at a, a playoff edition, go for that, all right? But don't overspend and get a Deshaun Watson um, when you could just get a Mariota, all right? The 93 overall Snow Beast Mariota, okay? So that's just something I wanted to give you guys, explaining all the quarterbacks from the, you know, the 94, 299 overall, and just compare it back to when Madden was decent in 25 and how Madden has changed, all right? Hopefully this was informative to one of you guys or all of you guys. I know that it would help someone in deciding for their new quarterback in Madden 18 Ultimate Team. Definitely be able to, um, uh, you know, put your alerts on to know when, you know, when a video is released. And uh, definitely check me out on Twitter to know when I go live, whether I'm on YouTube, uh, Twitch, wherever I'm at, wherever I am. So that way you can stay in contact. And, um, you know, let's get a video view goal of about 50,000 on this one right here. Like and share. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.